Question 14, part A. A fair six-sided dice is rolled. What is the probability that a four is shown on the dice? Circle your answer. So probability is represented like this. Um, is a fraction, total outcomes on the bottom and the successful outcomes on the top. So the total outcomes uh, on a dice would be six because there's one, two, three, four, five, six. And how many of those is a four? Well, there's only one four on a die. So that will be one over six. And that's one of our options here. And that's one mark. Part B. 50 ra raffle tickets were sold at a charity event. Sean has 20% chance of winning the top prize. How many tickets did Sean buy? So if she has a 20% chance, then that means she has 20% of the total amount of tickets. So 20% of 50. Well, percentages easiest way to do percentages without a calculator if we know that to find one percent we've got to divide the number by a hundred to find ten percent we divide the number by ten and to find fifty percent we half it or divide by two so with these we can work out any percentage so we can see that twenty percent is actually just doubling ten percent so I can first of all find ten percent and then another 10%, and that would give me my 20%. So all I've got to do is divide this by 10, and to divide a number by 10, this has one zero, that has one zero, so just get rid of it. So 10% would be 5, and 10% again is 5. So if I add 10% and 10% together, that gives me 20%. So if I add the 5 and the 5 together, that will give me 10 tickets, and that's one of my options here. And that's one mark. Part C. A bag contains a mixture of blue beads, yellow beads and pink beads. The probability that the bead is pink is 1 over 5 or 1 fifth. Which of the following sets of beads could have been in the bag? Circle your answer. So we have to figure out which one of these bags the pink is one fifth of the total amount. So we're going to work out the total amount in the bag. Six blue, six yellow and three pink. So that's 15 beads in total. So again, if we're writing this as probability, I've got a fraction here. The fraction would be the total outcomes on the bottom and the successful on the top. So the 15 is the total. Now the successful ones are how many pink there are. So there are pink, sorry, there are three pink beads in this sack. So to work out whether that is one fifth of the total amount, we can just cancel it down. So is three one fifth of 15? So to cancel fractions, you find a number that goes into both three and 15. So if we use one, then the fraction would end up looking exactly the same. So how many times does one go into three, three, how many times does 1 go into 15? 15, 15. So that's why we don't use 1 when we are cancelling down. 2 doesn't go into 3 and 15. 3 goes into 3 and it also goes into 15. So now we ask ourselves how many times. How many times does 3 go into 3? Once, that's my new top number. And how many times does 3 go into 15? 5 times. So that tells me that 3 over 15 is exactly the same as one over five. These are equivalent fractions. So it's quite nice, it's the first one we've we've worked out. This is the bag where the probability of getting a pink bead is one over five. So I'm just gonna go through these remaining ones uh, just as a practice. So I would work out the total first, five, 10, 15 beads in total. And there are five pink beads, so that would be my top number. So now I've got to cancel this down to see if it is equivalent to the same as 1 over 5. So I need to find a number that goes into both 5 and 15. That's nice and easy because they both end in a 5. They must be in the 5 times table. So how many times does 5 go into 5? Once. How many times does 5 go into 15? 
three times. So that's not equivalent to one fifth, that's actually one third. This one here, total would be seven beads. How many pink ones? Five. So there's not a number that actually goes into both five and seven. So that is the simplest that that fraction could possibly be. This one, we've got five, 10, 11 beads in total and one pink bead. Again, there's nothing that goes into both one and 11. So that's the smallest it could possibly be. Six and six is 12 and three is 15. And there are six pink beads. So we need a number that goes into both six and 15. Well, that's three. Three goes into six and it goes into 15. How many times does three go into six? Twice. How many times does three go into 15? Five times. There's nothing that go into two and five. So that's the simplest it could possibly be. So correct answer here, one over five for one mark.